In the studio today, we've got the Eto portable projector unit that fully featured with Android 11 TV. Now this unit has over a thousand lumens of brightness, so it is a very decent, powerful projector unit with an auto leveling and auto focusing feature. So let's take a quick look around it and then we're gonna test it out. Now in the box, obviously you get the projector unit itself. We get a fully featured remote control and we've also got 180 watt power brick to provide the power to this device. So let's take a look around the unit itself. So on the front of the unit, you can see we've got the sealed projector unit itself. Now the bulb in this is rated for 160,000 hours of life. So that is gonna last for you a long time. We've got a little sensor here. This is obviously where it's gonna do the auto focusing and auto leveling of the actual device itself. We've got some venting underneath because there is a fan in this display as most projectors are. And the fan does run continuously when you're using this device. And although it is audible, I think once you're actually playing the actual projector itself, that's not gonna cause you a problem. As we look to the top, you can see we've got a nice carry handle. It's not overly heavy, so it's very easy to carry it and set up. We also have an on button and some actual controls themselves. So you can actually control the Android TV directly through the projector itself if you don't want to use the controller. And we've got a little back button there. As we move to the back of the device, we've got a little power input. We have a USB as well as an HDMI, the infrared port for our remote control, and an audio jack in case you want to put it out to the speakers instead of using the two 10 watt internal speakers on this, which do sound very good and we will test in a little while. Then lastly, on the bottom, not only do we have some nice rubber feet so you can easily grip to the table or desk that you put it on, we have also got a little thread here so you could either mount it to a tripod or some other device to lift it up or it can be mounted from the ceiling and it's very easy to flip the projection unit itself so you can flip it so it is working upside down from a ceiling unit. And then lastly, you see a little cover here. If we take that off, there's a little Android box placed underneath the unit here and plugged in. So this provides the Android TV. And in the future, if you've found that this device wasn't fast enough or does become outdated, you could replace that for a newer version. So now let's fire it up and test it. So once you've passed the initial setup, and set up the wireless and your Google accounts, you are straight into Android TV. And from within here, you can select all of your popular streaming services, such as Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube, or maybe Disney Plus. Now this is all very seamless with the remote control and it's snappy through the menus. You can also download other applications through the Play Store, which is very handy. And if it's something that you wanna watch that is actually on a USB stick or maybe a, an actual other device, you have got that USB and HDMI on the back of the projector to be able to utilize other devices other than Android TV. Now the image quality is absolutely fantastic. And the great news is that will auto focus onto your wall, but if you're not happy with the actual focusing or maybe the size of the screen, you can adjust the zoom and you can also adjust each of the corner points to set it up accurately for where you're displaying your image. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you could sit this on a table or on the ceiling and from within the menus, it's very easy to click between the two and it will obviously invert the image if the projector is upside down. So once you've scrolled through to the particular streaming service that you want, maybe on YouTube or on Netflix, selecting your program is just as easy as if you're using it on your TV with the included remote control and it loads nice and quickly with a great brightness and image quality as you'd expect from a high lumens projector and it looks absolutely great when you project it on a decent sized screen or wall. So easy as well to just switch between the different streaming services. And not only can you do it through the menu system in Android TV, but the included remote control, this is incredibly handy. You've got YouTube, Prime Video, Disney Plus, and Netflix as hot buttons on the bottom. You've also got a voice search button, which can be incredibly handy. And from within here, you can adjust your volume and your focus, as well as muting it and going home back to the Android TV main screen. You've also got the inbuilt menu functions for within here, so you can adjust the corner points. And you've also got your Android TV settings as well. So it's all very easy within a click of the button from the remote control. And lastly, we do have a power button as well to be able to turn it off when you've finished. Now, just lastly as well, as I mentioned, we've got the HDMI and the USB port on the back. You do have a source input button on the remote control to make it very easy to select those devices too. And then you can control those with this remote. 
So overall, this is an absolutely fantastic package for anyone looking for a convenient, easily portable projector that you can quickly set up with its fast focus and incredibly bright lumens to make an incredible cinema in any room that you want.